Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Snap-On Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? So today's going to be a video. We are going to do uh, a full brake job on the truck. That means ro drums, pads, slack adjusters, uh, and S cams, S cam bushings, fucking seal kits, the whole fucking kitten fucking caboodle. Uh, we are going to be working on uh, today. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now I've never, I've done the brakes a whole bunch of times, but I've never done a S cam and the seal kits. But uh, if it's nuts and bolts, the junkie will figure it out. So I thought I'd start off by showing you guys uh, how I get all my tools ready. I got some of the shit out, like some pry bars, S clamps, just simple shit. I'll show it to you. So now we got to pick. Uh, some more tools. So I thought I thought we'd go over here and we'll pull this out. We're gonna grab the big bastard here. I don't know if you guys can see this. This motherfucker right here. We're gonna grab that. Now we're gonna try the new PT850 and we're gonna get the harbor shit here just in case. We need that. Uh, I got some hammers on here. Let's see what else we gonna need. Uh, let's come over here and let's come over into this shit. And we're gonna need some bearing punches, so we're gonna get that. We're gonna get a big one here. Uh, let's see what else we may need. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, uh, we're gonna need some needle noses some other shit so let's get these the long ones flat ones 90 degree ones you never know what the fuck you might need uh, a pair of side cutters just in case we need those then we got that 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 spring tool do 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 uh, don't need that don't need that all right Well, I think we got all the tools that we might need. Let's come around here. So this is the tool cart. As you can see, I got the big pry bars down there. I got my C-clip pliers. We got all that. Punches, this shit, this. Some vice grips to hold some shit if we need it. Uh, the turn the S cams. We got our impacts. And hammer, so we got our cart loaded up. We got the big motherfucker down there. And what we got this for is we're still testing this. We're gonna try it out against the new PT850. So we're doing repairs and fucking reviews, boys. My channel is fucking awesome. I know that I'm awesome. Thank you for being a subscriber. And if you're watching this, subscribe to the channel. So let's go out here and get ready and uh, start working on that. Oh, I knew what we need lights. We need lights, fellas. You know. Look at that. Alright guys, let's go out here real quick. Alright guys, as you can see, uh, we got the tools out here. Now we need to get the jack out. Uh, jack this fucker up, then we're going to take the tires off, show you guys that, you know, again, we ain't working on no fucking clapped out Toyota, fellas. As you can see, we got her jacked up. Now it's time to fucking get with her here, fellas. 
what the Harbor Freight gun does here for taking these wheels off. to do is come back to this wheel and we're going to try the Harbor Freight gun again. Like I said, I'm seeing how much this thing takes before it breaks. I can tell you that the PT850 feels great in hand. First impressions. <laughs> and this fucker hits hard. Uh, this thing is not bad. Let's try her again. One.
Nope again. guys well we did seven out of ten that time um, what it seems like is this gun each time that I use it it just gets weaker and weaker it's pretty badass out of the box but it's starting to you know we're gonna keep using it till uh, she gives up the ghost so now we'll try the PT 850 on a three that didn't come off motherfucker uh, you know like uh, that's uh, this gun feels really strong to be honest with you so enough with the tool reviews uh, I'll take this tire off uh, we'll get ready knock these drums off and stuff and then uh, I'll show you that part alrighty guys uh, this is the first one we're gonna be working on here uh, what I did already is I loosened up the slack adjuster so I could hit the brake drum with a uh, mini Thor here and uh, get it loosened up because a lot of times these would get rusted onto the flange just ever so fucking slightly. So now what we got to do is just pull the brake rotor off and I think these things weigh like 120, you know, the brake drum, I think they weigh like 120 pounds a piece. I'm not fucking sure, but they're fucking heavy. Okay. Now what I want to look at is I wonder which which direction this S cam turns. So I want to get my S cams. So I don't know if you know, like looking at these, the F cam turns a certain direction. Okay? Probably what it is is for one mounted on the front and then one mounted on the rear. So you can see the difference here. See how one has it over here and one has it over here okay so what we do know this is a right hand one okay see how that s cam the the cone is facing this way so now that we got that we know that's right okay now what we can do is start taking these shoes off all right get that shit all out of our way now, for some reason, I like these snap-on spring tools. Uh, they're really good. Uh, you know, we might need a pry bar here. Correction. The spring tool works great for putting them back in. For taking them off, Pry bar it, fellas. Alrighty. So now that we got that out of the way, uh, you can see that this shit is obviously loose and fucked up. All the seals are fucked up. So we are going to have to clean all this shit off. Uh, you know, and then the next thing we got to do back here is uh, we got to get this uh, slack adjuster off and then we can start taking the S cams out and I will try to get you a better camera angle for that. But uh, that's all there is to taking brake shoes off, you know. 
If I was some YouTubers, I'd yell time right now because I'm almost done. But this, this job is going to take quite a little bit here to work. Um, what I'm doing is I'm taking a good mental note in my mind where this S-cam is turned. So when I put it back in there, I can get it uh, just right. So uh, let me get this shit off and try to find a different camera angle for you guys. And then uh, maybe hose douche some of this off real quick. But uh, fuck. It's going to be a long night, fellas. We got four wheels to do. All right, guys. Uh, sorry if you're looking directly into the light. Let me just get this. Uh, bushing turn the right way here. There's one out. Okay, so guys, we got the pens and bushings out, and then we got to come up here to, uh, we're going to keep those because you never know what we might need those for, and we got to come up here and get our C-clip holders. All right, let me get in here and get these. Oh, fuck me. Did I grab the two bigger ones? God damn it. I really need an extra set of hands. I should have went live so I could have said if anybody wanted to come and help, fucking come on down. Try the 45 ones. Okay, we got the clip off. Now let's move the washers. Oh, that's going to come off good. All right. All right, boys, when I get this thing off, I'll explain to you how it works. All righty, guys, I got my tiger tool thing on there, and we're going to try this. pretty good we definitely got the cone washers loose so that works out all right thing does work pretty good though <coughs> so I don't know if this is how it's set up this is how I set it up uh, you know but what do I fucking know I didn't think it was supposed to be on there loose. Uh, that was my opinion, but it does work out pretty good, though. Uh, kind of nice. So, again, we'll have to clean all this gasket material up. We're going to have a fucking... We're going to have a big project on our hands here. I didn't think this was going to be... Uh, is labor intensive is this it's 10 o'clock here in Cincinnati and I gotta have this truck running by 7 in the morning and have all these brakes fixed so wish me luck fellas uh, you know I think once I get the first one done 
Uh, the next two will go, or the next three uh, should go pretty fucking quick, to be honest with you. Alrighty guys, uh, I'm not going to bore you with taking uh, this spindle apart. Um, you've seen me do that before. What I am going to tell you is I bought new Tiger Tool 4 inch 3 quarter sockets. Now this thing was 200 bucks and I bought it and I was like man I don't know if I'll ever use this. But I'm going to tell you that this $200, this one fits way better than the piece of shit uh, the piece of shit like kind of what is that the flimsy fucking one you know what I'm saying so uh, get these bearings out now I'm just going to set them in the oil here okay we made a complete mess now watch right out Jesus God alright I will get all this cleaned up and then I will show you how to I will show you how to uh, put those S-cam bushings in. So what we got in here is a seal and I'm going to try to drive it out. Oh, okay. That's not going to work. So what I am going to do is see if I can get this side to come out. hit it in there. I got this wrong. I got my long uh, bearing puncher thing. Ow. Okay. That's working. We got one seal out. It's kind of bad. Come back down here to the bottom. Okay, we got that one out. Now, how are we going to get this one out? Let me think here for a minute. All right, you can see that these things are old and no good. Okay. Now, how can we get this side out? Let's see. That's going to be too long. A lot of grease in there, fellas. A lot of grease. Uh, well, all I can say is the guy that comes and greases my truck, uh, he's doing a pretty good job. All right. I wish they had something in there. I could go in there like a, sl a fucking slide hammer is really what the fuck I need. But anyway... Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can pop this seal out. There we go. Got rid of that. Okay, so the steel has a stop. And I would say that these bushings need to stop right at the seal. Well, let me see if I can drive it all the way through, and then we will just line it up. No. Okay. Alright, you guys probably aren't concerned on how I... Hey! Fell right out. Look at that. Fucking A, boys. Fucking A. Oh, I'd say that that one was a little worn. 
So now that we got those out, uh, let's do a little more fine cleaning here. How does Eric do it? Eric O do it? Bam! that area is fucking cleaned up. Alrighty there YouTube. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this challenge. You know, but at least we're uh, taking it on together. And, you know, when it's your shit, have no fear, man. Just get right in there and let's get after it. So, we got this side in and I'm probably just going to uh, run this side in then go in from the, in the other side there and uh, knock her in. Okay, so there's a tube in there. All right, got it. All right. <clears throat> well, guys, uh, give me a minute to get the new shit out, look at it, and uh, figure out what we got to do here. Uh, what I got here is I got a, just another three-quarter socket that we are going to pound this bushing in with here. So, I think I want it right there towards the edge uh, so we can get the seal in. And then we'll do the same thing with the seal. And we will get another socket. Oh, fucking in there Look at things going in crooked What I'm trying to do is bottom and out in the race holder here. Okay, now what we got to do is go do the inside. Obviously, I can't show you that, but uh, you know, it's basically the same process. We're just repeating it on the other side. So uh, let me uh, take care of the other side. Then what we'll do is slide this shaft in there, get everything cleaned up here on the outside, and uh, we'll start putting this back together. You guys out there that don't know, uh, this slack adjuster goes on here like this. Okay, then when the arm for the brakes, when the arm for the brakes come down, it pushes this, and, and this rolls this S-cam up like this, and then it rolls it back down. And that's how the brakes work. So how this works is, that you slide this in there like this with this backing plate on there. So the backing plate goes in there. Alright, and then you gotta think, you know, the rod's like this, and when then when you hit the brakes, this rolls like that, and the wheel comes up and pushes the brakes out. So what you need uh, on this thing to get this to work, uh, these are the ones you have to buy because this has welded and chamber arms and the linkage for this is very specific. But anyway, so then on the other side, um, you put a washer in here and then it gets uh, another, another flat washer and this skinny washer and that gets your spacing right. So as you can tell, we're getting ready to put this on there 
and this is going to be uh, kind of negative right here because when we put the this is where our rollers are going to go so after we do that uh, I'll put all this stuff on uh, I really can't get in there to film it guys sorry because uh, I can't get the bed high enough and all that shit but that's just the gist of what I'm doing so you know I'm trying my best here guys yeah and it comes with a brand new c-clip and there's no direction on the c-clip but anyway uh, that's what we got going on so let's get ready we got to start rocking and rolling this it's already 11 o'clock uh, I got to get all four of these done by 7 in the morning so there we go as, as you can see I got this clocked in there uh, you know and I got it uh, down in here so then what I got to do is go get uh, the pins in there and that looks like that's gonna be a motherfucker so this is probably gonna be a motherfucker I'll get back to you guys uh, once I got it all in there and then we can uh, adjust the brakes and all that stuff uh, once we get the pins in there and the brakes back on but we got to put the hub back on first so we'll do that then we'll put the brakes on and then we'll put the drum and everything on and we should be good so uh, we got the s cams in there we got the uh the actual like uh they're just little pins and then you put a uh cotter pin in it really is all they are and uh that's that uh we got that over there wonder if there's so we got a little bit of slop in there i'm okay with that uh i figured out something for the next time but anyway uh we got those on there now let's put the hub on there and uh we'll be good to go uh we got the purple shit back out here we're ready to put these fucking shoes on uh, you know, get all this shit fucking ready. Uh, what I like to use... I like to use this purple stuff here. So, uh, just on the parts that could seize. Uh, and really on big truck brakes, the only thing they can seize is these pins right here okay so now that we got those on move our shoes out of the way so how these work is this goes uh, down in in this fucking hole somehow here okay like this so this goes down in that and then what this does is just uh, well what the fuck here? These are different. Uh, these are completely fucking different than the ones that I'm used to. Maybe you gotta put it on like this. The Napa ones that I'm used to are a little easier. There we go. Okay, so we got that in there. Then what we got to do is take these things. Uh, where's my fucking hammer? God damn it. So what I like to do is take this one. Holy shit. Just dropped it. So what I like to do is take this. Like this. Tap that in there. Now we got one shoe done. And then we'll just put it up here so I can show you. Alright. So we're definitely going to have to roll the brakes back in. Hopefully. This is why you guys wonder why 
I have so many tools. Alright, so we got that on there. Alright, let me go get a 7 16 wrench. So I got this all set up kind of how I like to do it. And then how I like to do it is just like this. So you slide this in here like that. Then you get your long pry bar. And you start lining this up, push this down, fuck. Okay. Now you got that on there like that. You take your spring tool. There's that one. And then you come over. takes a lot of practice because okay and what I like to do just for some insurance oh. see we one popped out no big deal we'll get it I'm just trying to stay out of your way so you guys can see what I'm doing here Okay, so now we got that. Now we go take over a 300 pound drum. Woo! Heavy. Okay. Now, all we gotta do is put the wheels on, adjust the brakes, and that axle's done. Time! Fuck! That took four hours. Well, I fucked around for most of the time. But I would say I worked a solid three hours. So, I gotta pick the other ones up and do them in two hours, or I'm never gonna get this done. I got Big Daddy Payne out. Uh, I'm going to show you why I like this gun. Oh. Uh, it's a lot lighter weight than the other one I had. adjusted pretty good right there but we will uh, just put a half a turn on them just to make it better so 
So I like to get under here and just put. Alrighty, guys, uh, that is how you completely do a brake job on a big truck. All right, now uh, I have never done this before, so I'm sure of you uh, are going to make fun of me that I struggled, but you know. I filmed the first one that I did. I really should have filmed the last, but I just wanted to get done with filming so I could knock this project completely out. So, uh, you know, like always, did you see those air gun skills with a one inch gun? <sighs> Professional fellas. Uh, that's many years of drag racing, being able to hit those uh, head bolts and shit, bottom end bolts without even fucking looking. But uh, anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, you know, always feel free to comment. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of, well, you're a dumbass and all this shit. Thank you for that. Thank you. I know I'm a dumbass uh, because I thought it was a good idea to own dump trucks and all that shit. But apparently, you know, we'll make it work. But thank you guys for that. Uh, also, what else do we got going on? Visit my Patreon account, all that bullshit, all my other social medias and all that stuff. Uh, like always, guys, thanks for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, that's all I got.